What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest MIUI 14.0.1 Indian stable build and this is a pilot kind of release, you can say it's a beta build, it will roll out soon for the Indian Redmi Note 10 Pros. This is the 6th April 2023 build, if you are noticing this updated date section and of course this is based on Android 13. So I'll show you everything, by the way this is how the home screen looks like. In the about section, yes it looks like this, we have the MIUI global version here it shows. 14.0.1 here it shows redmi note 10 pro and the storage section shows up of course and here also the mui version shows up as this and it has the march security patch if you're noticing the stock launcher looks like this to the left of the home screen we have this app vault because i have enabled that you can go into the settings and in the more settings of course you can choose app vault or google discover but there is a reason why i chose app vault because the widget section the newer mui 14 kind of widget section will appear only with the app vault otherwise it won't appear so if i go into the widget section as you can see this is how it looks like you can add a particular widget just by tapping on one you can just click over here as you can see the clock has been added so you can just bring it onto your home screen if you want somewhere and yeah this is how it will look and the other widgets that i have added i have the battery widget they are working fine and we have these double excel kind of folder size as you can see you can customize this enlarged and stuff so yeah you can customize all of this and the screen time kind of widget is also there the digital well-being of kind of thing of android 13 and as you can see the animation definitely looks beautiful while opening an app or something like that and even closing it just notice how fluid it looks and i have changed the animation speed to fast otherwise it was looking a little weird so yeah with fast it's perfectly fine and if you just close the app let me actually show you if i just close the app and reopen it just notice how beautiful that animation actually looked i am definitely liking these animations and stuff of this miui 14 and the brightness slider looks like this right now this definitely looks like that ios style kind of quick setting panel i would say and once i was finishing the setup it was showing this preparing setup screen it looked beautiful that's why i took a screenshot now one thing i have to say after flashing this from that i have noticed the phone definitely becomes too much hot to touch if you are someone who do not like MIUI do not even try to switch over here this definitely makes the phone too hot to actually die and yes I had the camera dead issue earlier so that's why I have my CPU revolt and even after that as you can see after CPU revolting and stuff and after this update too my front camera is working but if you have a brand new Redmi Note 10 Pro or something like that I would not suggest to actually flash this ROM because this definitely makes the phone too hot to even touch but yes, it does have the MIUI camera, no issues with that. And there is a 4K 30fps option for the videos. And the ultra wide angle lens, the 2x telephoto and the main kind of sensor is working perfectly fine. Even the pro mode and stuff is there, the documents mode is there. No need to worry about any kind of MIUI camera modes. Yes, the MIUI camera should be working perfectly fine with the 64 megapixel mode and stuff. And the clarity will be really awesome. Let me actually take a photo. So yep, as you can see, the quality of this is really good. Even this is taken on portrait mode. So the background blur is looking really, really great. So I would say yes, it does take amazing quality photos. But if you're someone who is not in a need of flashing MIUI, if you can use custom ROMs, I would say just stay over there. And things like the gallery app still has a lot of features like this focus changing option, I guess the bokeh kind of effect. Blur right now is a lot less. And here, it will look a lot more blurry because it's f1.0 and there is a lot more options like this line blur and the world kind of effect so a lot of options like these are there in miui gallery you can definitely use them there is also the miui gallery video editor the sky filter all those things will be there one more thing is really annoying once you are trying to change the wallpaper it will constantly pop you out with this turn on wallpaper carousel kind of thing and i had to click on do not agree and remember my choice to actually fix this issue there was also a pop-up of that wallpaper carousel so yeah this is indian MIUI, so there will be a lot of things like this and once you install an app from play store it will show this secure kind of window over here for no reason and i went to the settings there is a lot of options like this virus scanning definition and stuff i don't think it's needed but yeah now one more problem that is i was restoring my google app data backup but it simply did not restore properly as you can see it shows the telegram x it could not install that and inside this updates available as you can see it shows this error right now if i try to update all let me show you what it does i'm just updating normal apps 
as you can see it shows telegram x could not install so yeah and as you can see right now the share me file sharing is not installable here as well the android core apps has been updated but these apps i cannot simply install i have no idea why even the youtube and stuff cannot be updated i cannot even install a apk file i was trying to install the android to benchmark apps i cannot even do that it shows somehow that i don't have storage but i have plenty of storage left I did not even copy my files after formatting data after flashing this new way. I don't know why I certainly cannot install the apk files or even apps from play store cannot be installed. I cannot daily drive this particular <laughs> me why quick setting panel looks like this there is also that plus 2 gb ram it shows up because it has this newer extended ram kind of feature memory extension option is there and you can extend the memory right now up to 5 gb so that's really great and even you have to actually reboot the device to actually make this apply but yeah this will be using the storage as your ram extends the ram with your memory management if you're someone who needs to have a lot of apps in the background so it will give you 6 plus 5 so about 11 gb of ram totally and in the always on display too there is that for display only for 10 seconds there is no disabling that but yeah these are the always on display options which are present it is pretty similar to and the settings you can glimpse an eye on it and yeah pretty much i would say most of the settings are pretty similar this is how the volume panel looks like let me show you yeah this is how it looks like and if i just expand it this is how it looks definitely looks closer to the ios kind of style this is how it the volume panel looks and in the recent panel too if you tap and hold on a particular app there is the app info split screen lock app option and there is the floating window if you want to use that inside the additional apps we have the accessibility just a shortcut quick ball one-handed mode in the floating window and there is also the second space really handy feature for someone who uses the parallel space kind of thing for each app there is the enterprise mode i don't know actually what it does but yeah there is also the developer options and stuff and there is the full screen display inside over here we have the gesture confirmation height full screen indicator and stuff all these functionalities you can also use the three buttons if you want and there is the dolby atmos you can enable disable it and there is the graphic kind of equalizers and stuff all these things you can customize over here as you can see but for some reason it shows safety net failed i did not flash my score or anything this is failed by default so i am not really sure why it's showing like this but yeah banking apps may or may not work i did not even try to put my sim card and test it also the dear info yes it stays as l1 so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p and the ir bluster yes it is working fine no need to worry about it of course you won't get unlimited google photos backup over here and the battery life will be decent i think about eight hours of screen on time not really sure how accurate that will be because this is estimated and in the health section for me the battery health shows a lot lesser compared to what i get in custom roms right now it shows about 68 percent and yes this is based on one cycle but yeah i would say this is too low for my battery because in custom roms my battery at least shows as 84 85 percent 80 plus pretty much and all the MIUI features like these are present like once you're opening a video playback kind of app it will give you this video toolbox kind of thing it will also work with the game mode and stuff like that there is the dolby atmos the style record option screenshot cast and all these things play video sound with screen off i guess and a lot more options like you can launch a particular app in a overlay just like this so yeah this is very handy you can use it differently if you like these kind of MIUI features so yeah for multitasking and for users who are in a need of these kind of features the MIUI definitely will favor them sound settings so you can control the haptic feedback of the UI that is really good yes I have to say the haptic feedback on MIUI is awesome and it definitely feels like it's much more optimized in MIUI and even the sound quality will be awesome too headphone jack output the speaker quality everything is awesome in MIUI yes that is much better than custom ROMs now let me show you one thing yes the fingerprint scanner should be working perfectly fine as you can see I just tap the fingerprint scanner and it unlock just notice how fast it is no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner unlocking but yes there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in this home screen that's why I have added this lock widget and with that it is locking and unlocking pretty fine try to show you the face unlock Okay, so right now as you can see it is already using the face unlock as you can see it has already unlocked let me try one more time and yeah i have to point the device towards my face and already unlocked so pretty much i would say face unlock the app lock and the finger scanner should be working fine but there should have been the miui dialer and the miui messaging app i feel because 
it still has the Google's phone dialer, Google's messaging app, because on the newer devices like the Poco kind of devices, we are getting actually the MIUI dialer. But with this particular update, there should have been the MIUI dialer, I feel. But yeah, this is how it is. We still get the Google's phone dialer and the messaging app, the contacts and app and stuff. And of course, we still have the MIUI kind of calculator app. That's not a problem. Even the calendar, weather, everything is there of MIUI, no issues with that. So yeah, pretty much this is typical MIUI. If you're someone who loves MIUI, you will definitely love it. But if you're someone who is a custom ROM user like me, definitely you will not be able to use this thing as your daily driver. And I am not able to put my SIM card over here because I'm afraid there will be some bug which will annoy me. Now, one more thing is that the benchmarks here are the Geekbench score on this particular build to give you an idea about the overall performance of the UI. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.